Hello everyone, I'm Davy, and in today's video, I'm hoping to inspire you to get some projects done in your house that truly you've been holding off on, but they take minimal amount of time. So I want to get it done today. This is an open challenge hosted by Nicole North Garden. I'll put her channel in the description box as well as the playlist I'm sure she'll put together. But I had three projects on my list for today that I needed to get done and um, I'm hoping that it'll inspire you to get some things done, whether it be in your house, um, outside, whatever it is that you need to get done. So anyways, I'm going to show you my projects and just how quick it was. It literally took five to ten minutes to get these little projects done. So my first project I've been wanting to do for so long is this little basket collage on this wall. So I have several baskets and two of them are placemats actually. And I just wanted to hang them on this wall, especially because behind my one placemat is a phone jack where you know, landlines, that old school thing, <laughs> used to be in this house and we just never took it off the wall. So I want to disguise it, to mask it, cover it up. And I thought a basket wall would be ideal. And I collect baskets from thrift stores and antique stores, stores, garage sales, wherever I can find a cheap, cute basket. So anyways, I just got these like three fourths inch little nails because baskets are pretty light and um, hung my baskets in a little collage. And the thing with decorating and doing this project is a little bit of trial and error. I wanted to just experiment and lay out a little bit of what I was hoping it would look like um, and testing it. And sometimes I realized my basket didn't hang exactly how I wanted it to, but hey, that is how it goes when you put little collages together and so I actually really like how it turned out um, with my different shapes of baskets. I think I need to add another little basket down in the right hand corner if I can find one eventually when I go out thrifting again. But yeah, I just took a little trial and error, but this whole project, I even had my little toddler on the floor playing next to me. This whole project took me five minutes. Literally the time I started filming to the time I was done, my camera timer said six minutes. So really, it did not take very long to get this get it done project done and I've been wanting to do it for like a month or two. Alright, my next project is a little touch up painting. So we installed a new farmhouse light a year ago after our daughter was born um, in our kitchen above our table and we used to have a long light that was covered half the ceiling it seemed like they used to be fluorescent. And so I wanted to cover up the old nail holes. I had left it open and every time I'd see it out of the corner of my eye, I would think it was a bug crawling on the ceiling. So it needed to be done. So I've never mudded before. I know, I know, I probably should have mudded in my life at some point, but um, I didn't read directions or anything. So I just put the mud up there, covered the holes, let it dry, and then I just used this um, HGTV white ceiling paint that we've had on hand for when we previously painted the ceiling white and I painted over that and honestly I think it looks pretty good for my first time mudding and then covering it with that white ceiling paint and I just it needed to be done and that literally took me probably five to eight minutes to get that project done. There was another wall I actually did too that we had had a bigger sign on that left some nail holes. So I covered that up as well. Um, didn't show you that, but you know, that was such a quick project that just needed to be done. And then my last one is another painting project. This is in our bedroom. Now I used like ultra white eggshell paint in our bedroom for white. Um, I liked the white look at the time. I still do, but maybe a little more color into our bedroom would be nice at some point. But anyways, I digressed there. So back to the painting. Uh, the hardware store where I got the paint from gave me the wrong finish. They had given me a satin. So when I did some touch-ups, it just looked so bad because it didn't match the actual uh, finish of the paint, which is eggshell. So I finally went back to the hardware store, got a little pint uh, or quart, sorry, of the just off the shelf paint 
and touched it up and I can't tell the difference now and it's so nice to not see just a slightly different finish of paint and that just gives me joy to see those projects finished. So really all this took me was 15 to 20 minutes to get these three projects done and just a little bit of my time and so that's what you can do today just get those projects done it's so nice to have those little things checked off your list and things that you don't like seeing originally and then when you get it done it's just like why didn't i do this sooner so anyways i hope this inspired you to get something done in your house today it could just be one little thing it really doesn't matter as long as you get it done this project get it done was so encouraging for me to get it done and I hope you are encouraged by everybody else who's participating in this playlist so if you're new I'd love to have you subscribe I do videos such as these thrifting decorating motherhood DIYs and I'd love to have you join and give it a thumbs up as well so I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day I will talk with you in my next video all right bye guys mm -hmm.